If you have a pet, you know all about how special of a bond that can be, probably especially right now. So when the CDC put out new coronavirus guidelines for our animal family members, it's pretty easy to start worrying. Well, Sharon spoke to a vet who says social distancing does now apply to animals too, but it is not something that you need to lose any sleep over. When we talk about staying healthy for our loved ones, it generally includes our furry family members. Tell me what changed with the CDC guidelines. What were they before? Uh, beforehand, there really weren't many guidelines when it came to companion animals or worried about them getting ill associated with COVID-19. High five. But new information Yay. has surfaced. Winston, a pug from North Carolina, is presumably the first dog in the U.S. to test positive for the coronavirus. Dr. Graham Brayshaw with the Animal Humane Society says the CDC probably put out new guidelines out of an abundance of caution. But because we now know that dogs can get this disease, I believe there were two cases in Belgium with cats uh, contracting this and then some dogs in Hong Kong prior, uh, because we know that animals can get this, the recommendation is just like we should socially distance ourselves, uh, we should socially distance our animals as well. This means dog parks not encouraged. Those that have been to dog parks, it's as much of a social thing for people as it really is for dogs as well. So I wouldn't recommend dog parks because of that side of it. Cause it's just a generally social thing. Walking and running with your pup is still OK, but no more meet and greets. Don't go and interact with someone else's dog for an extensive uh, amount of time. So no more uh, meeting yeah. strange dogs. No more meeting strange dogs. Unfortunately, I would say that would be a little joy that I do have to suck out of uh, someone's life. Dr. Brayshaw also says it's recommended that if you have tested positive Positive for the coronavirus, you should isolate yourself as much as possible, just like you would from other human family members. You can distance them in the home, that's great, but don't move them to a new home. Uh, don't bring them to the Humane Society if you can care for them at home. Having said all of this, though, Dr. Brayshaw says not to stress. He says the likelihood of cats and dogs getting very sick from this type of coronavirus has been rare so far. We've seen no animals that have gotten significantly ill from this virus. They've caught it, they've shown some mild respiratory signs, and those that have caught it is a really tiny number compared to the number of we've known been exposed to it. So it's really rare for them to get it, and those that get it show really mild signs. Another day, another rule to navigate, but at least this one's easy to remember. Whether they've got two or four feet, stay six feet away. Well said, Sharon. Well said. Right now, the Humane Society is open for essential services only, along with virtual visitation and drive up adoptions for now, because they're making sure PPE is reserved for humans. They're not doing spay and neuter surgeries. And now after that, 